Hi, my name is John Roman and I'm a cameraman. Uh, there are a lot of different jobs in camera departments, so what that actually means depends on the specific job I was hired to do. As a director of photography or a cinematographer, I would work with the director to try to turn their vision into a real image. I might make decisions about which angle to use, what lens, and how the lighting should look, and then I would oversee the technical departments that physically make that happen. I think a lot of people picture a camera operator when they hear cameraman. So if I'm working as a camera operator, I'm physically controlling the camera during the shot. Whether that's handheld or on a tripod or some other device, uh, the camera operator's job is to make sure the camera is seeing the world the way it's supposed to be. I might also work as a camera assistant and then it would be my job to support the camera department by making sure the camera is where it needs to be, uh, but also by making sure that it's working properly and maintaining it, making sure the pieces are compatible and that they're functioning the way they're supposed to be. Some people don't know it's the camera assistant who operates the focus in a shot and the second assistant who operates the iconic slate or clapperboard. What I love about working in camera is that it's creative and technical. It's art meets science, and I love being able to use both of those things to create something. I also like that filmmaking takes you places. I'm always finding myself somewhere new, uh, meeting new people or doing different things. Uh, sometimes you get special access to things that the general public might not get, and that can make for some really unique experiences. It really is a lot of fun working in the camera department. Uh, sometimes it doesn't feel like a job, uh, but it is. It's real jobs are real jobs, and it can be a hard job. It takes a lot of physical activity. It's strenuous, and the hours are long. Uh, I think a lot of people might not realize how long the hours are. It's, it's not a 9 to 5 desk job. Um, 10, 12, 14 hours are pretty common. It's extreme, but I've even worked 100 hours in a week. Aside from the physical demands, you also have to have social skills uh, to be able to collaborate with a large group of people, uh, even when everybody's tired after a very stressful, very long work week. Uh, I think the best thing that someone can do that's interested in a career in film is to try to get onto a film set. Um, in turn, find a class, uh, visit a set, anything you can do. You know, we have a saying, I hear it all the time on set, like, I don't know until I see it. Um, and I think that's a good approach for a student trying to decide if a career in film is right for them. Hey y'all, this is what a movie would look like without a gaffer. Pretty dark, huh? Luckily, I am a gaffer and that's what I do, the lighting. I have a best boy, lamp operators, a dimmer board operator, a rigging crew. We work in conjunction in my department with the cameraman in his department, the key grip in the grip department, production designer in the art department to achieve the look that the director and director of photography would like. I've been doing it for 45 years. I grew up in Oklahoma. I moved to Los Angeles. I've worked on movies like Halloween, Back to the Future, Thor Ragnarok, and Black Panther, of all things. If you notice, I just moved into a side light. That means light's coming from the right. This is an attractive way to light people. If you turn this way, it becomes a backlight. You can see it on my hair there. That's what you do uh, when you want to separate somebody from the background. But mostly, what I want to tell you is lighting is a fun job. And I've been doing it and enjoying it. I've been all over the world. I've managed to do movies in Europe, in Australia, New Zealand, Mexico, South America. And it's never boring. So if you're interested in a career in the film business, you start at the bottom, obviously, carrying cable and moving lights around. You work off of a truck. The best boy and gaffer will give you direction. As you move up, you become a best boy, maybe a rigging gaffer, and ultimately a gaffer or a cameraman. So take advantage of being able to study as you work, because if you get a job, you learn something every day. I've been doing it 45 years, and I still learn stuff. Uh, every movie. So anyway, I want you all to know that it's within your reach to be just about anything you want to be. There are no geographical barriers, nor are there any limitations. If you can dream it in the film business, you can generally manage to do it somehow. 
And in the end, what's cool is you get a t-shirt like this. The one that says Black Panther on it. Take care, y'all. Hey guys, my name is Brandon Jones. I'm a local Oklahoma Key Grip. I've been doing this for about nine years, maybe 10 years, um, between Oklahoma, Texas, and California. Just travel around trying to keep learning as I went, um, but I've kind of landed back here in Oklahoma to home base. Um, See, so as a Key Grip, you, you work hand in hand with the lighting department um, and the camera department with the gaffer and the director of photography. Um, and a lot of what goes into that, as far as electric and lighting goes, um, we kind of end up being the the shapers. We bring in the the flags, the negatives, the diffusions to either take light away um, or spread it out and soften it. Um, and then as far as camera support goes, we're in charge of the camera needs to be mounted to a dolly or on track, or if you gotta build a platform to get it higher or need a crane um, or rig the camera to the ceiling or whatever, whatever needs to happen, we are in charge of facilitating um, achieving that goal um, the safest and quickest way possible. Um, so there's a lot of planning and a lot of organizing that goes into it. Um, uh, some skills that kind of go overlooked are listening and observing, paying attention and just uh, being able to uh, take in all your surroundings so you're never um, surprised by anything. Always be 10 steps ahead um, and just make sure you've got everybody covered and that the set is safe. Um, safety is a huge thing, especially now with COVID. Um, it's even greater of a thing. Um, um, some other skills to have would be communication, uh, just being able to run your department in a way that uh, sets you guys up for success. Um, all the way into just understanding the way things can and need to be rigged safely to support weights, understanding weight limitations, understanding uh, there's a whole lot that goes into it. Um, and throughout the years, you kind of gather this this knowledge um, from working with other great key grips um, all around. And uh, to me, uh, I would recommend traveling as much as you can, working with as many people as you can, um, and just never stop trying to learn. And then maybe one day you can uh, key grip your own movie and uh, rig a camera to the ceiling or something. <laughs> anyway, thanks. Hi, I'm Shelly Dapolito, and I am a department head of hair or a key hairstylist for film and television series. Basically, that means I design or maintain hairstyles for the actors in our shows and make sure that it flows throughout the um, either the TV show or the film and the continuity is there so they look the same on the same day or they look different and uh, for different time periods or um, you know to show the passage of time and getting to do the the looks that the actors and the directors and the writers and everybody that has come together to create this character and it's it's a lot of fun I love doing that I love getting to work with all the different people and create this project create this content for people to enjoy you know hopefully in the theaters and I'm um, at home and it's just been a blast being able to to be a part of projects um, locally where I live in Oklahoma and also traveling and that is a, a fun part of the process as well is getting to see different locations and how they do sets and and just be a part of the whole project as a whole with um, all the different positions and and departments that are that are working I love doing that but you know, I, I love doing hair and have done it for over 20 years and getting to use my skills and my craft this way is just something I, I can't even explain how much I love doing that and getting to, to put them to use and, and to see the finished product on a screen. Um, one of the things that you need to, or multiple things that you need to do 
to have as a skill set for hair is you needed to know how to do haircuts and how to do the period hairstyles and have a cosmetology license and um, to be able to perform these um, set of skills for for the projects um, and I just I encourage anyone who is looking to get into this type of work um, to just be passionate about it and want to work the, the hours there's a lot of hours um, but yeah being you know having the skills and practice and experience is definitely very very helpful <laughs> thank you Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Gardaki and I work as a freelance unit production manager in the film industry in Oklahoma City. A unit production manager uh, works as the manager of a feature film or television series. Um, we do everything from helping set up the schedule and budget to hiring crew and lining up equipment. Um, it's essentially like running a small business. Uh, really the main things I love about my job are uh, getting to work with a lot of the same people over and over. Um, even though we're freelance, a lot of us work on the same projects and you get to know each other and you, you know, you create a small film family um, and it's a lot of fun. Also, I just, I really enjoy managing projects. Um, you know, just being able to set up a plan and uh, follow through on that plan and, and help a director or writer or producer bring their dream to life. I think the most important skills for a unit production manager to have are people skills. Um, you know, manager is in the title, so you are managing people, you're managing projects, you're managing budgets, um, and and people skills are really they're really critical in any job. But I think a unit production manager um, really needs great people skills uh, to to manage a project. Um, also, you need to be really detail oriented. I keep a lot of lists in my job. Um, that's everything from to-do lists, to equipment lists, and tracking things that are lost and damaged, um, you know, and, and notes about schedule and script and budgets, um, really just a, a lot of note taking, a lot of list making, um, and it's really important to just be detail oriented. I think if you're the kind of person that likes to manage projects, or maybe you're working in student council, or helping plan the school play, those sort of things, if you enjoy that sort of management, um, taking all the pieces of a project and bringing it all together and, and dealing with you know the problems, but also reaping the benefits of seeing it all run successfully and setting up a big event, uh, I think you'd really enjoy unit production managing. You're essentially a big event planner for a film or television series.